Hello, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at the registration feature within all of the packages available on Oxford Abstracts. So we'll be having a look at adding tickets and also customizing forms that people will fill out when they're registering, also setting up payment providers, adding tax rules, and then finally previewing the registration flow. So let's start off by looking at the tickets that we can add. So you can create as many different ticket types as you like. And for each ticket, you can add things like the price, how many are available, how many can be purchased within an order, and then the dates that those tickets are available from and to. So great for things like early bird tickets. You can also group these tickets into different groups. So here we've got in-person and virtual, but you can group them in any way you choose. And this then let, lets us later ask different questions depending on the group of the ticket. You can also create add-ons that can be purchased in addition to a ticket. So this might be things like a workshop or a gala dinner. And we can also create coupons that can give users a discount on certain tickets or add-ons. These coupons can be a percentage uh, discount or a monetary discount. So we can also create the form. So these are the questions people will fill out when they purchase the ticket. You can add as many different questions as you like, and there's lots of different question types that you can add. We also have a ticket details page that you can create. And this is essentially just a landing page for people to get a bit more information about the event before they go ahead and purchase the tickets. From the financial side, we charge a 2.5% service fee on all transactions using the registration feature. We'll also give you a tally of how much, uh, how many, how much uh, you paid in fees at any one time. You can choose from different payment providers such as Stripe, Authorize.net, Invoicing, and also PayPal. If you have certain tax rules that you need to add, you can also do that here. And you can choose to apply these taxes to certain tickets or certain add-ons. So when we're ready to publish, these are a couple of things that we can check that we've done or that we, um, if we need to do them uh, before we go ahead and publish. So the last thing I need to do here is preview the event. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I can see my landing page and I can click buy tickets. And you'll notice as well that I can purchase multiple tickets. So great for things like university departments if they're buying maybe 10 or 20 tickets at one time, that's possible here. So here I can say that this top ticket is for me and it's going to pre-fill my information and then I can fill out the information for the second ticket holder. Oh, let's go back. Okay. Continue. So on the next page it's going to ask me to fill out a form for each ticket holder and if I don't want to, I actually don't have to fill out the form for the other other ticket holders. So if I leave that unchecked, it's going to, uh, the system will send an email to that user and they can then fill out the rest of the form later. And then when we get to the end, we've got the different options that are available in terms of making the payment. Okay, so now that we've previewed this, let's go back to our admin view.
Okay, so here we've published the event and now we've got our link to allow users to register. So once people do start registering, we'll see them in the registrations table. And so this is gonna give us all of the information about who these users are, if they paid, if they're pending payment, and things like this. So we can go into, the, into each registration and we can see things like who, the, who created the order, if things like refunds have taken place, we can see when they took place, and there's a record as well of these refunds. We can also, if they have paid, we can see and also edit the information that they filled out in the form. Attendees as well can also edit things like the add-ons that they've chosen after they've made the payment. If they need to change the actual ticket that they've purchased, they can ask the admin to do that for them. So as an admin, you can go in here and then edit and refund the orders. So you can remove tickets and add tickets, and then depending on how they've paid, you can either refund them outside of Oxford Abstracts or if they've paid via Stripe or PayPal, we can automatically issue those refunds to them. The registrations as well can figure off, uh, can fire off uh, certain automatic emails depending on what actions people have done. So you'll see in the email section, there's a whole host of emails that you can edit and um, these will be sent when people register or edit their registrations. When it comes to the end of the event as well, there's also lots of options for downloading all of the information in the attendees table. We can also see all of the different transactions that have taken place. And we can export a variety of reports uh, based on the transactions. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. That's just been a brief demo of the registration feature which is available on all of our packages within Oxford Abstracts. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.